the live stream. I was debating on what I do tonight. Do I continue to play EU4? Do I show a little more Harvest Moon? And uh, I've kind of decided that I think we're going to start up a, a CK2 game to kind of keep it fresh, keep it exciting. And so uh, for this game, I kind of batted around a few ideas, and this is one that I tried to do a uh, Let's Play series on mm, maybe a few months ago. That sounds about right. It may have been two or three months ago, and um, it was going well, and then it all kind of fell apart, which is okay. Um, that happens sometimes, but we are actually going to be playing as the, I believe this is just the Count, the County of Holland. Um, they are in the Dutch culture group, and so we get Count, I believe his name is like Rad, oh god, I'm going to botch this again, Radbald of Holland, but we're going to call him Count Rad. And so our goal ultimately will be to try to create an independent Dutch kingdom. Um, and then from there, move forward and have a little bit of fun. I have not played this game in quite some time. The last one that I did, the last time I played this game, uh, was uh, a series that I did on YouTube that was a co-op series. And in that one, um, I was playing as... Uh, believe yes this I formed the kingdom of Wales and I had a, my co-op partner was actually formed the kingdom of Ireland so I'm gonna be a little rusty I'm not gonna lie but let's go ahead and dive right into it uh, Iron Man mode is enabled just so if I screw up yep and that looks good to me so there we go and let's just call it super and we will save over that and the game has started so this is going to be an interesting playthrough um, perfect we're playing as a Dutch Catholic count um, no special effects uh, I don't think I need to read through all of this, but there we go. Um, this just tells us what we can and can't do. Uh, just remember, we are Dutch and we are Catholic. That's all you got to remember. And so, that's perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. And um, interestingly enough, we need to disable those hints. So this is us. Count Rad, I'll also disable some of these hints, and Count Rad is, ooh, interestingly enough, let's see, what is he good at, he is good at, oh man, his diplomacy is terrible, um, he is a not a very learned gentleman, uh, he's not a very intrigue worthy gentleman, but he does have decent stewardship, and he has a pretty decent martial score, and um, we have a son, Walder. Man, every time I hear that name, I'm like, Walder Frey. I hope that kid doesn't grow up to be Walder Frey. But let's, let's explore the character a little bit. Um, he is a skilled tactician that looks like level 3 education. He is cynical. Ooh. He is Roth. Ooh. He is lustful. That'll be good for making babies. And he's trusting. Okay. Well, that is quite a unique combination for uh, a ruler. I'm not sure all those work together, but here's our wife. Um, she is... Let's take a look at her house. So her father... Wow. My father-in-law who died... That joker died a long time ago. Doesn't look like he was anything special. Um, yeah. Nothing too special about them. Alright, so there's the wife. Wife is a not really great either. 
She has pretty good learning, but other than that, that's pretty much it. And she is a scholarly theologian. She's greedy. She's diligent. She's lust. Wow, they're going to make great babies. She's Roth as well. Okay. And our heir, who is... How old is this cat? He is two. Um, nothing yet, but we're going to go ahead and figure out what we're working with before we start it up. All right, so this is us. It looks like we have a... Eh, somewhat okay. Holding, personal holding. I mean, it's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Looks like it's got some upgrades. Definitely has a level 2 castle town, level 2 stables, barracks, keep, castle walls, castle fortifications. Oh, could use a little more. And then our vassals. The city is, once again, relatively somewhat upgraded. And wow. So uh, this bishopric is not very upgraded which is disappointing disappointing indeed okay so let's take a look we got two vassals and as of right now they both hate our guts holy stinking crap that is unfortunate and who's in our court it looks a like am I seeing that correct most of our court does not like us that is bananas 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 alright so Zealand Let's take a look. So this is my brother-in-law. Interesting. So, okay. We're putting things together. That's our brother-in-law. Alright, good deal. He is not a very great ruler. Going back to us. She has no claims. Alright, we're going... We want that. I want that. I want that. I want all of this, but as you can see, we have our liege, and he is actually the Duke of Holland. Okay, I'm gonna have to relearn all these buttons because I am, man, I'm out of practice, out of form. All right, so pick an ambition. And we'll start there. We want to have a daughter. Why not? And we need to pick a character focus. Yeesh. What to do here? We could fully... We do war. We make ourselves one heck of a warrior. Although, I do think... We're going to take business. Because we need to make some money. Alright, so we have all these titles now that we can grant. And so, designated regent. Um... And pick someone who has some good skill in the event we die we're gonna make our wife regent master of the horn let's see who could we use a bump with well we definitely need a bump with our vassals and it's gonna be the mayor and so the master of the horn will be the bishop Master of the Hunt will be our dear mayor. The High Almoner. Uh, he's a commander. So we already have our two commanders picked out. Um, 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 um. And these are just the minor, minor titles. We'll take a look at our actual uh, court. One of my council. Excuse me, not council. Yeah, council, not court. Don't listen to me. Um, high Almoner. Steward and our cupbearer, we will make our chancellor. Okay, so that should improve some opinions. We've actually saved for this piss poor spy master, we have actually got a relatively good council, which is good. So, our chancellor, we're going to ask him to fabricate a claim there. And we're going to have him train troops in our capital. And our steward, he can basically collect taxes, research economy tech. 
Oversee construction. Hmm. Kind of tempted to say collect taxes. Yep. And our spy master is actually going to build a spy network here. And as for our dear bishop, he is going to. Da -da -da -da. I think we're going to tell him to research cultural tech here. If that makes any sense. All right, so next thing, let's take a look at our heir. Who can we marry him to? Well, one thought is, does our dear liege have any children? No children. What about this cat? Do you got any kids? Do you not have any kids? Interesting. What about Breda? Let's learn about Breda, shall we? Breda. In fact, I can actually probably do this a little cleaner. Let's go down here, and where is my culture? Culture, culture, culture. Well, I, forgive me for being so out of... Uh, diplomatic, religious, cultures. All right, so Breda or Loon, do you have any children? We're looking for daughters. You, what about you? No. What about you, bearded crazy man? You have a daughter that was just born. Perhaps we could arrange betrothal. No. Too lowly rank. Poor guy. All right, well, let's go find him a good wife because we're eventually going to be playing as him. All right. Let's go arrange betrothal. And uh, that's not going to work. I forgot how to do that. All right, let's try this. Arrange a marriage. I can't do that, can I? Hmm. Why is that not letting me do this? So this is my son. I want to arrange a betrothal. Interesting. Maybe I just click on this. They've got to be in my court, don't they? So he's not going to offer up. He definitely, yeah, apparently I'm too lowly. So we're just going to sit on that for a minute until he needs to get married and then we'll figure that out. Hmm. Like I said, again, forgive me. It has been quite some time since I played CK2, and so I'm naturally going to be a little rusty. Um, what we can take a look at this, though, is right now we are actually, wow, we're making pretty good money, to tell you the truth. It's really not that bad. All right, let's see. Du jour, Duchy of Holland. So that's du jour. But in reality, this guy also controls those two. Hmm, so we're going to have to get his titles one way or the other. And then the Kingdom of Frisia. We have to get that duchy as well. Which is owned by... Da -da -da -da. I'm not sure. It, in fact, I don't think it's been created. All right, so good deal. Um, 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 Next thing and last thing to check is if we look at this, our levy is a little difficult because, first and foremost, if we look at our vassals, they're not really that happy with me. Although, if I were to send him a gift, 18, not worth it not worth it at all and there's nothing that we can really build right now so let's just make sure of that is there anything we can build no there is nothing we can build okay so we got that let's actually there's our council our laws would be good to look at and before we get started we agnatic cognatic gavel kind not really crazy about that but that is what it is um, and yeah, feudal taxation. 
Hmm. I don't think we have any feudal holdings, but that's okay. All right, I think we're going to kind of leave that be. Tech-wise, it looks like, yeah, we're, wow. We got some good stuff, but we definitely don't have some of the military tech that we need. Our military screen just shows us, what is this guy, what is his levy looking like? Our levy is better than his. I fully believe that we could beat him down. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive into this. Speed 3. And see what happens. Oh, so our lord is going to war against King Louis the Staminer. It also looks like he's also he's involved in two wars. Good for him. Good for him. And da, 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 da. that's fine. That is fine. All right. Rise of the Shia really doesn't affect us in this part of the world which is okay by all means it is perfectly fine hopefully oh, we got a chancellor how much what's his chance I uh, ten almost 11 percent 10.68 I will take that chance that is a decent chance to uh, fabricate a claim better than some of the other ones like I said uh, I've <laughs> when I did this earlier I think my initial Chancellor was just absolutely god-awful and let's see societies nothing there religion um, that's great faction view there are no factions right now intrigue so we can promote a commander don't want to really do that we can invite a noble to court we can present debutante, hold a summer fair, we can borrow from the Jews, buy an indulgence from for our sins, from our sins, for our sins. I think if you could buy an indulgence from your sin, um, it, that would just be crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, uh, yeah, waiting on something to trigger. Primarily either being us fabricating a claim, but in the meantime, we're going to make as much money as we can. And, uh, you know, we're not making a ton of money, but to be a really kind of a one province minor count, this should be fun. And so your marshal has inherited a massive, oh, has in, initiated a massive recruitment. Good job. For that, I am grateful. So it look, looks like we're getting a little bit. That's good. Now, it's unfortunate that the bishop does not like us. But we can we can improve upon that. And how is our soon-to-be rival? It looks like he is gaining troops as well. Which means we will probably need to do something to get that bishop on our side. Who are these guys? These are probably Viking raiders. Wow. And they're going ahead and beating up the competition. We did start in the Viking Age, uh, which should make this quite fun as we're on the coast, which really translates into we will have Viking problems. Um, hmm. Huh like to kind of hoard that cash because we know that we're going to have to fabricate a claim. Please just walk through my province. Yep, that's fine. You can walk through it all day long. Uh, da, 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 da. And he is our king, our wonderful king. He's winning one war, but he's losing another. Problematic. We need something to trigger here. In fact, who is my child's guardian? I should have checked that from day one. 
Do you even have a guardian? You don't. Oh, my wife is your guardian. Uh, I guess that's okay. I don't really want to PO her. Or do I? Do I really care about that? Eh. So we could plot to kill him. But his vassals actually like him. Which is what makes that problematic. So it looks like total we can get up to 908. But that's levy plus garrison. Eh. Not really crazy about that, but so be it. Um, really be nice to have something trigger. Not really sure what to do. We could always borrow money from the Jews and expel them. We could upgrade castle fortifications. I really don't see a immense benefit to that. Castle Walls 2 would be nice. We could save up and build. Ooh, and we have some events that have triggered. Two at the same time. Alright, so we'll start from left to right. Everybody lies and the courtiers in West Friesland are no exception. One of them dared to speak up and tell me I'm too cynical. Um, and no one... And not everybody lies then I know they all lied. So basically I react to the accusations. All right, so after Gunthar told me not everybody lies, I almost started laughing. I told him that he, if he could prove that, I would start believing in mankind again. So it could happen right. So uh, let's see, what are the effects of that? Um, it looks like the effects are changes by negative 10 for two. 20% chance that I lose the trait. So let's click on ourself. There's our cynical. And we lost it. Now, that is quite interesting. We lost that trait. Alright, so here's our other minor event. Wow. 20% triggered. A group of hedge knights have come to visit Holland. Uh, Bernard has met with them and asked for my apply. Welcome them with a lavish feast. So we lose a little bit of money, but we gain Gregarious. Which, uh, yeah, we want Gregarious. That's a, that's a great trait to have. That really is. So now we're getting a little bit of opinion with our vassals. And the Hedge Knights have uh, participated in a minor tournament together with our Knights. Uh, sadly, one of those landless vagabonds has been severely injured. So we could gain just, which would be another good thing, at the cost of five prestige, but we gain some piety. Sure, why not? I'm trying to build a good ruler here. And so because of that, our liege's opinion are actually getting better, and it may be worth a while to say, we're going to send you a gift. And it's only 17, so we'll do that. And we are now, I believe, his opinion of me is greater than that of the Pope. So we're now getting additional income. And you can see we're now making 29.4 ducats per turn, which is great. Long term, that really is a great thing. It also increases our levy. So he initiated another thing. Troop training. Let's see, did that do anything for us? It should have. 600, okay. What's this Joker's? So we're gonna be going after 417. Still not daunting enough to win in the field of battle, but that's okay. Um, that is a-okay. Because we will probably be hiring mercenaries to help us out. And that's where we're gonna need money. That's what makes that real important. Okay, so we have, let's see, El Count Rad now is actually 
looking a little better. He lost Cynical, but he got Gregarious, which is Magyar Nomars, Nomads, Magyar Nomars, bah. Magyar, the Magyar Nomads, no more. The king of the Magyars has decided to settle down in the Carpathian Basin, making a new homeland to these tribes. That's great. Interesting. That's exactly what I said. So basically just plus two stewardship, plus one learning. Vassal Opinion, which is what we want. Gregarious also gives us Vassal Opinion, which is big. As you can see right now, we actually have both of our vassals. They like us, which is fine by me. It's rather fine by me. Not sure what's going on here. We're still at war. But our king... It's actually winning both these wars, which is a good thing. Now we just need one of these wonderful events to fire. Uh, so that guy's been imprisoned by this guy, our head king. And man, they're just sieging stuff down left and right. Who is he? Ah, so our king has formed an alliance with one of the Welsh kings. Quite fascinating. Are they actually trying to siege me down? They are, and I can't expel them. That's problematic. I don't, I don't have the army to meet them in the field of battle. Oh, man. Could they just go away? They don't have enough to siege me down, so I mean that is a good. I mean that's not bad. We have a a level four fort, so that's good news. Okay, minor event. A large merchant caravan from from distant land. Ugh. Let me rephrase this and not botch it. A large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Very well. They can come in. How they got in while there are Viking raiders outside our wall, yeah, your guess is as good as mine, but whatever. So after evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite se seems insatiable. But you do not wish to prove a poor host. You order your servants to bring in a second serving. All right, let's hear what the fat man has to say. All right, so dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty, his loyal, he is, his, ugh, excuse me, his loyalty to you, his new master shall be beyond reproach. Hmm. So, yeah, good deal. We'll accept the gift. Let's see who this cat is. Um, let's see, who is this cat? He is new in court. So this is him. He is a, wow, he would be a really good spy master. I think he's going to get promoted to spy master. He is a eunuch. Master schemer, diligent, temperate, humble, deceitful. Yeah, he's going to be our new spy master. Um, are you related to me? You're not related to me. Well, you're five. We're going to uh, take the 19. There we go. And we need to tell you to build a spy network. Actually, do I want to do that? I don't want to build a spy message. I want to scheme. I can't remember. Uh, possible outcomes, plot uncovered. Uh, 
Uh, we're actually going to have him do that in our own. I think I was doing that incorrectly from the get-go. I can't remember. Ugh. That's what I get for not paying attention. Shame on me. Shame on me. But, either way, we now have a proper spy master. Which is fine by me. He's a eunuch. I kind of feel bad for the guy, but, you know, that is what that is. Alright, so a group of craftsmen has come to your court and shown off their work. They present you with the fine goods, of which you are sure there would be demand for in the realm. Noticing your interest, the craftsmen ask for some capital to start up a workshop, saying they lack the funds to do so on their own. Um, sure, we'll invest in your little workshop. I may be a brutish warrior, but... But, but, but... For level three, for level four, it has been looted though. All right, so let's see what this says. My beloved wife is constantly bored and keeps talking about the fashion she has heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court. My money is your money, darling. We become charitable. Yeah, actually, or we can get greedy or zealous. Ah, uh, let's take charitable. Let's become charitable. Charitable, charitable is a good thing. Ooh, what happened? What happened here? So our court chaplain died. Hence, that would explain why this new bishop is not happy with us. Alright, well, maybe we can make him happy. And... Okay, and I think we do have a minor title, which we will give to our dear bishop. And what does this say? Idle council members. Of course you're idle. There we go. Which sweet. I didn't even take a look. How good are you? How good are you? You're not great. But we did that because we want you to like us more than you like the Pope. And right now that's happening. That's what we need to have happen. Okay. Interesting. Really would love to see a, uh, a fabricate claim fire, but that hasn't happened quite just yet. So our king created the Duchy of Luxembourg. Or Luemburg, whatever that is. So he passed away. Just a notification about the raiders. And... Da -da 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 -da. Can we find you a wife? I don't think we can. Even though we should be able to do that. But I guess we can't. God, I forgot. I forget how that works. I'm gonna have to look that up. I feel stupid. But, all in all, we're just waiting. We're waiting for our opportunity. So that's a, that's a bishopric. Yeesh. Which I really don't want to own a bishopric. I just want to make you my, my vassal. I gave the priest such a scolding today when he dared ask me his rightful liege. Liege. And Lord, for a donation, isn't he living on my sufferance? Haven't I allowed him to collect money from his parish? And so it sounds like our mayor overheard it. So after my scolding of the priest, I left fuming with anger and was ready to slap whoever it was that touched my arm to stop me. In front of me stood Mayor... whatever his name is, who told me that the priest 
certainly deserved the scolding given all I had done for him in the church. Interesting. So that aided how much he likes us. Good. Good, good, good. The mayor likes us. I don't believe we're going to be strong enough. Who are your vassals? Ooh. Sticked is one of your vassals. Quite fascinating. It may be that we save enough money and just flat out, once we fabricate some claims on this cat, just take him out. But I definitely think uh, he is going to be our first one. So you have any packs? Only with us. So the Pope has died and he has been replaced with this guy. Uh, Pope Innocentus II. Scholarly, scholarly theologian. He is temperate, wroth, honest, and charitable. He actually would make a good Pope. Good for him. It's one of the few times I can say that in this game that the Pope who is now the Pope Ooh, we had a usurpation. The Duke of Flanders. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. All right, excellent. Our wife is pregnant. Let's see what happens. Our wife is pregnant. We know what we were doing. See, how does our wife like us? Pretty well. It's not too shabby. And what about our son? Our son is actually gaining some decent traits. And so one children likes a guardian. Why does he like a guardian? Did our wife die? Are we single again? Oh, that's right. He's not old enough to get a guardian. They don't get a guardian until they're da -da -da -da, six. All right, so let's assign a guardian. Who would be a good guardian for this guy? All right, well, we would ideally like someone with a level four education, which, to tell you the truth, is probably going to be old eunuch boy, but he's Greek, and that's a little problematic, and we need him to be Dutch. We probably, to tell you the truth, we're just going to be his guardian. Let's see, did that work? Forgive me about that. That stupid Windows updater thing popped up. You would think I would learn. So, oh, there's our ward, there's our son. So we're going to train him. And we're going to dive back into things and clear those out and wait Mr. Chancellor it would be really 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 nice if you would get your rear in gear and fabricate a claim if not it's going to be rather dull money wise no, we're making almost 31 ducats per year that's not terribly bad We still need to fabricate a claim on that, and realistically, let's see, what do you actually control? You are the, yeah, so we need to get these two. We need to wrestle these two and this bad boy from you. And I think if we can take this lovely thing out, then I, th I feel confident we can take these two out, usurp that title. And then from there, we can create our own little, own little uh, kingdom. And then a lot of it's just going to be waiting to see when we can declare independence. All right, so the kitchen is truly a wonderful place. I would agree with that. 
filled with delicious things, smell, and smells, but it worries me that Walger spends all his time here when he should be practicing sword fighting and learning how to rule. So we can force him how to learn how to fight. He will become brave. 80% he becomes brave. 10% he becomes gluttonous. Or 10% he becomes craven. Or we can say this isn't our concern and he becomes gluttonous. Make the boy fight. So our son and heir is brave. Good. Good, good, good. Very good. And so it looks like a daughter was born to us. Hot dog. So we've fulfilled that. And we can now pick a new ambition. Which... Hmm. I think we're going to become exalted upon men. Okay. Good for him. Can you truly become exalted among men? Which means we have to have prestige greater than a thousand. That may or may not happen. Oh, it's a bold ambition, though. So we'll see how that plays out. All right, the craftsmen you funded a couple of years ago have returned to you to tell of their success. With your support, they were able to set up their business, and it's now one of the most profitable enterprises in Holland. Hot dog, we just got paid. Ever since your pursuit of wealth has begun and you started keeping a close eye on both income and expenses, your coffers seem to be filled to the brim more often than not. Oh, sweet. So we get aspiring trader, plus one stewardship. Stewardship's actually pretty good. Good. Glad to see they're doing what they need to be doing. So we've made some money. And what do we have here? So he wants an alliance. Huh. Do I really want to ally with this joker? Ugh. It would give me the opportunity to call him in should I need it. And I could go ahead and work on fabricating claims. Hmm. For the time being, let's do that. And let's actually tell our wonderful chancellor to start working on a claim up here. Why not? Not that I expect him to be of much use. This guy can definitely marshal a much larger force in the field, but we know we're going to mark up. And that's where we're going to save our money. We're going to make money and mark up and crush him. At least that's the plan. Crush him and hopefully there won't be an immense amount of retribution. usurp that title and then slowly figure out what we're going to do and it may not work I mean like I said in the last one I Count Rad lived to be very very old and we took over a lot of stuff um, but in the end it just he died he died like I don't want to say quickly but he died no he really didn't die quickly he lived to be quite an old guy he died uh, probably a month before I was able to get all my plans off without a hitch and I was back to square one so a man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way into my castle uh, he sings of the fair queen elf hand or is that elf land I can't see that it's too far away I'm playing the computer hooked up to the TV and some say his songs are prophetic. So if we get kind, what does kind do? Uh, kind isn't isn't the worst thing in the world. I 
Uh, let's take kind. Means our vassals are going to like us even more. Which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Um, let us see. What can... Well, we're still waiting. I mean, that's all we're doing. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. So who are your vassals? And it looks like most of them like you somewhat. Hmm. Although the Prince Bishop of Sticht does not. I mean, looking at you, you can... You can sally up an army, but eh. I think I can take you. I just got to get the claims, which is 10%. So uh, at some point, those have to fire. I mean, like I said, in the meantime, all we're going to do is make money. I need to figure out. I need to remind myself how much does it cost to hire mercenaries? 150 so we need wow um we're gonna need a bare minimum of probably 350 to 400 to maintain those yep all right so we're getting there uh, my son walker is aiming for the stars his the ambitious little brat and uh, that's fine ambitious is not a terrible trait yeah, no, absolutely. That is only right. We're going to build a good heir. He's brave and he's ambitious. Yeah, this kid is going to be great. I mean, he's already looking great. I mean, he's seven years old. Look at those stats. He's probably better than his mother. She's 34. How old am I? Dang, there's a... Wow. Married an old lady. I guess good for him. I mean, you never know. You never know what folks are into these days. Good for Count Rad. Dating the older women. That's what I'm talking about, Count Rad. You dirty rogue. You dirty old rogue. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's raiders. Raiders that we can't do a lick of good against. So they're just going to cause problems. Wait, hold on. There's a plot against him? All right. Let's figure out who's trying to kill this cat. Okay. Let's go to do, 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 Factions Intrigue. There's a murder plot? Why don't I know about this? Here it is. So my uncle in the plot. Don't kill the boy. Yeah, you're not gonna murder him. Dear uncle. Man, everybody needs a murderous uncle in their family. Nope. You don't want one of those. Your uncle is murderous. You need to get the heck away from him. So that's like bad news. That's real bad news. Okay. Well... That has just made things interesting. Our uncle wanted to kill his great nephew. Raiders are gone. So, mm, what the heck? I now just say mankind is unlovable.
So we lose the trait charitable. Because <laughs> mankind is unlovable. All right, Rob. That's, that's pretty, pretty grim, but, you know, that is what it is. I'll tell you who's unlovable, this blasted chancellor of mine. Can he do anything? I'd really like to fabricate a claim on these two. Gracious. All right, so let's see what happens here. This should be interesting. So my uncle, he would be better at it, but uh, I need I need this leech's opinion. So let's give him a chance. Let's punt. Let's punt this decision. First, the guy says, "Hey, I'm going to kill your son." And oh, by the way, I'd make a great court chaplain. And it's like I don't think that's how that works. Now, we may promote him, and we may just send a gift to our wonderful bishop. That may counterbalance that. That may be the right thing to do. It may be the right thing to do. Although, I still go back on principle. He tried to kill our son. What am I talking about? That guy. Oh, that's a tough decision. I was kind of hoping I was going to look up and be like, hey, guess what? You fabricated a claim, but uh, it seems like this is just going to take forever. As it always seems like. So, um, okay, so let's, sure thing, he's our new court chaplain. And this guy is probably rather upset with us. He is very upset. But if I send you a gift... 22. Still doesn't get you quite to where you need to be. And yes, it's hurt my levy a little bit. But so be it. You at least still like me. And now, dear uncle... <laughs> I want you to improve religious relations with stick. Let's see if that works. I'm probably doing this all wrong. I'm such a bad player. Like the worst. Absolutely the worst. All right, and so we wait. We wait and we wait and we wait, and that's really all we can do. Waiting to fabricate claims because our chancellor is not up to snuff. Hmm. Guess in the meantime, we can probably take a look at what's going on. Our liege, our, our the Lotharingian, Ringia. I just want to call them like the Eastern Franks. That's probably easier for me to do that. All right, so steward, our steward. We can, wow. Yeah, for only two, two gold, that's not bad. We'll adopt those. Heck yeah. We'll take that. That's a good little event there. 
Let's actually check our tech. It's not growing, and I know why it's not growing. Because of the fact that we are so small. Sigh. So, while they're great ideas, they don't really help us a lick. And that's severely unfortunate. But that's how that goes sometimes. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. I th if I remember correctly, when I started out doing this playthrough, um, it, it is harder. You're starting off as a one province miner, and it took some time to really set it up. I don't really want to blow through this just because when I ratchet it up to speed four or five, a lot of times I miss things. I'm just not that gifted. Um, so, you know. Alright, levy reinforcements. Since I came to... We have never had a shortage. So I'm sending a... Wait, I'm, I'm actually... I'm the marshal. I'm his marshal. Well, that's good. I'm just letting him know, hey, look, dude. I'm doing my job. Even though I'm trying to take you out. Because I want to claim on all your stuff. That's fine. Does he also own this? No, he does not. This joker does with that fine, compelling mustache. And that guy has no mustache, but he has one heck of a thick beard. Who are you? Who's your heir? Interesting. It would be worth noting. Let's take a look at your family tree, can I? Ooh, so you have two sons. And in the event that you die, fairly sure that your realm reverts back to our king. Huh. Well, all that really means is we've just gotta we gotta fabricate some claims for real. in a unique, I don't want to say pickle, but just an interesting spot. Because if we don't fabricate any claims, we're kind of in a kind of in a bind. But that's all we can do. So we wait. Another year goes by and this little Chancellor twerp can't do jack crap. Watch him like roll out two or three in a row. But you know what we can do? While we wait, we can check on our son who is, yeah, he's definitely, he's, he's gonna be a, yeah. I'm gonna be happy with the way he turns out. What about our daughter? Actually, who to marry our daughter to? Who to marry our daughter to? How many stinking prince bishops are there over here? Hmm. Breda. Let's actually see if we can arrange a betrayal. I've got this daughter. Would you take that? 
You wouldn't take matrilineal, but you'll take that. I'm actually okay with that. Let's go ahead and set up that betrothal. Neighbor to the south. Could be a good ally in whatever we do. That's what daughters are good for. They're good for a lot of other things. I have one in real life, and she's wonderful. But in this game, in this period of time, that's what daughters are good for. They were good bargaining chips. But times have changed. And I do think they've changed far for the better. So if you're just looking at life expectancy alone, they've gotten infinitely better. So, let's see, what did that, you're wounded. Wounded while collecting taxes. He may die. Let's check on him. It's definitely worth checking on him. I don't want you to die, buddy. You're wounded. And we got raiders. We can actually repel these jokers. That's what we're going to do. All right. Let's kick him out of here. get gone and it looks like oh she's pregnant again all right boys y'all can go home war well fought I endorse that while we wait uh, rise of the Shia again we could build a, that's 80 and 10 90 not really happy about that Training ground would be better. Honestly, that would, truth be told, be much better. Or we could upgrade castle fortifications. It doesn't do us a keep. Upgrade a keep. Ooh. I'm tempted to do that, but I know that as soon as I do that, I'm going to fabricate claims. And I'm just going to find myself in a pickle, so not going to do that. We're going to hold on to our money. And so that's all we can do. We can wait. We can wait. I got the cat next to me. What do you think, kitty? All you want to do is sleep. You're a good cat. Levy reinforcements. So, once again, we're going to tell our liege, hey, we're doing our job. You need to show me some love. Even though I want to take over your land. But I have this problem, and it's called this joker right here is not doing what I need him to do. I need him to fabricate a claim. What is going on here? So we had a son. That's fantastic. What to do with this boy? What to do with this boy? So I cannot appoint a successor. If I could, I would turn him and I'd send him to the church. There can be only one. And so by and large, this has been relatively dull because I really can't do a whole lot, although someone siege down Munster. Monster, one of those, yep. One of those prince bishops.
Good old Prince Bishop. Well, as we wait, looks like our king is at war with King of East Francia. So I guess, what are we, the Middle Franks? Not really sure what we are. But it looks like he's definitely making inroads. Although, holy Moses, who sieged this down? Quite fascinating. Anything crazy happened in uh, England quite yet? The Vikings don't fully control this, although... I have a feeling they are going to reign... Well, they, did they get control of that too? Yeah, they did. Wreaking havoc in Ireland already, and I have a feeling that they will end up wreaking havoc... I'm amazed Northumbria is still here to tell you the truth. But I bet that's going to fall. Sooner rather than later. Sooner rather than later. I can't tell if those are kids outside or if that's a dog. Either way, man, it's kind of late. I'm not going to lie, it is kind of late. Huh, so we can... No, we're not going to do that. Well, I'm not selling you any land. Senor Mayor. Not going to happen, buddy. Alright, so, children likes a guardian, that's going to be my daughter. Let's assign you a guardian. And your mother would be a great pick, but I want to let you go hang out with the eunuch. I think he will be a good educator for you. That eunuch was a big pickup. He's a great spy master. And what happened there? That kind of was funny. Sorry. 23 war score. Alright. Good for him. Whoa. Definitely duking it out here, although he's going to win. He's going to win quite handily. Yeah, he did. That's a big battle. That's an important battle for him. And Chancellor, seriously. Like, you, you didn't even have, like, bad scores. What in the world's going on? It's really a bit of a buzzkill. And my heart missed a beat when I saw Walker emerge from the dungeons covered in grime and with a bloody knife in his hand. What in the world did he just do? I'll teach Walker some useful skills. So 50% chance he becomes cruel. Alright, well let's see what the boy becomes. And he is Roth. Wow. Be a 12 year old, that's a pretty beastly martial score. He's going to end up being very useful. Well, he's going to be useful if we can fabricate a claim. <laughs> and hopefully we can. Or maybe we won't. I don't know. This has kind of been, to tell you the truth, it's kind of been like pulling nails. Pulling teeth. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, dang, I know I had a long day at work, but holy cow. 
feel like my brain just isn't firing on any sort of rhythm that it needs to be. Which is a little discouraging, let's not lie. I don't know about y'all, but if you've ever, ever like been in a point where you feel like you're you're talking but it makes no sense, I mean, it's like, good gracious. That's what I feel like. I feel like I've just gone full bore stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. So who are you at war with now? Who is this guy? The Duke of Burgundy. Ooh. Well, what are you doing here? You're fighting him. That's fine by me. I'm probably the worst vassal ever. Yeah, so in my earlier playthrough, if I remember correctly, and like I said, it's been a couple of months ago, um, I got to a point where I was ready to pretty much just ransack my uh, overlord, claim his title, and he decides that very brilliantly declares a rebellion. And it's like, are you kidding me? All right, so I crave solitude. I no longer seek the company as other of others, so we lose the trade gregarious. That's unfortunate. Um, a most peculiar woman has arrived at your court. In only a matter of months, she has made a name for herself as most accomplished as a most accomplished warrior. Oh, a warrior woman. Um, you have ever you have even seen her defeat some of your best champions in the sparring ring. Maybe she could teach your other soldiers a thing or two. So the mayor won't like that. Can we see? She's a 22. Oh, God, she's a hoss. Oh, wow. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we're just going to kind of leave. Wow, she is a hoss. She's unyielding. She's a strategist. She's kind. She's brave, and she's zealous. Yeah, but look at that face. I mean, like, man, she looks like she could absolutely dominate some folks. I bet she probably wins all the arm wrestling tournaments. I bet that's exactly what she does. All right, Chancellor, seriously, get to work. I mean, like, you've got legitimately one job to do. And uh, pretty sure it's been 10 years and you've fabricated a goose egg for claims. Like mathematically, that, that, that one in 10 at least. You better get multiple back to back. That's all I gotta say about that. says all right so as your efforts of gaining wealth grow all the more determined you sleep less and less since sleeping is not a profitable behavior that's true sleeping is not but you need sleep I would I would counter that you gotta sleep sleep is good for you oh man so we get stressed we're stressed now so, Mulson Walker is always uh, his nose in the scriptures and spends all his time among the priest. Such a bright little child. He gets zealous. Eh. So, either gain zealous or lose zealous. Does he already have zealous? Yeah, he is zealous. Sure, why not? Let's make you this zealous warrior man. The Pope's going to love you. So he formed a, another alliance with a Welsh man. Huh. Not sure what his pulley is. But it'll be rather interesting to see that. So can uh, 
My son Walker hardly eats anything for fear of turning fat. Temperance is a virtue. Sure. Temperate is not a bad thing. Temperance is a virtue. Well, that's very true. Very, very true. And once again, our Chancellor just is not up to snuff. He's terrible. Duke of Tuscany, that's down here. Whoa. Whoa. How did we get all that territory? Did he start out with all that? He had to have. There's no way he didn't. Looks like the Muslims are pushing forward. West Francia has absorbed a lot of Aquitaine. And somehow Northumbria is still here. I don't know how, but they are. Hungary, Bulgaria, Byzantine Empire, anything crazy. Looks like Mali has consolidated a lot of their hold there. Huh. It's like Burgundy's doing their thing. Assuming that our liege is... Well, he's out of that war. Not sure what he's doing. That would be a good question. That would definitely be noteworthy. What are you doing? I do believe that is people outside. Folks, go to bed. It's not exactly early. If you're going to not go to bed, just don't do what you're doing right now. And as another year goes by and we wait on our Chancellor to hopefully make some things interesting. See what's going on here. Your heir. What? How in... That just makes no sense right there. How in the world? Huh. I guess is he being fostered down there? I don't know. Maybe he is. So we have lost our chancellor. How did he die? Period of illness. All right, we got a spot to fill. Oh man, and my dear bishop. You're not as good. Ooh, you're really not as good. But maybe you can work some magic. Well, this may have killed this. In the near run. In the near run, it may have killed it. The only thing we may have done is build up our treasury, which isn't the worst thing in the world. I was kind of hoping that we'd get in a war, fabricate a claim, take something out, you know, the whole nine yards. But I don't think that's going to happen. Our son was two when we started. How many years has it been? Thirteen. 
All right, so your steward comes to see you one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring exotic goods by setting up a trade route with a foreign realm. This would, of course, require some sizable monetarily. Yep, we'll do it. Let's do it. Now we're buying the ship. All right, word is spread that you're planning a trading expedition. A group of priests have arrived at your court with a request. They are offering temple funds for the journey if you allow them to come along the journey. Uh, yeah, of course. Y'all can come. Y'all will probably offend the ever-living hellfire and damnation out of whoever you meet, but y'all come. Come on. So it is now time to set on, on the trading expedition. Hopefully it will yield good profits. Hopefully it will to foreign lands. So we've been presented with an opportunity to let everyone um, be reminded of my rulership. Oh man. If you wish to mint new coins for your realm, there's a master of the craft that we can hire. Not only will the mintage be exquisite, it will also be adorned with your glorious portrait. Uh... Uh, uh, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Let's stamp our face on those coins. Everybody needs to know who uh, Count Rat is. He's the coolest of them all. Yarl? That can't be right. Oh, he's just in my court. That's great. All right, so what does this say? Uh, let's take a look. Let's put our glasses back on. Your expedition has finally reached the realm of Sultan al -Qasim. You in Morocco? Close enough. Alright, so we made it to Morocco. That's quite a trip. Alright, your steward asks you what gift you shall bring forth as a token of friendship to the Sultan. And let's give him... Sure. Let's, let's bring out the red carpet. Give that man some horses. So at dinner we notice uh, the Sultan growing red with annoyance as he glares as your steward for shoveling his food in with his bare hands. Please excuse no wait, let's take a look. Who's our steward? Who is our steward? Eh. Eh. He can be angry at me. I'm fine with that. Oh, uh, and here are these dang priests. So we're walking we're walking idly around the court of the Sultan when you suddenly hear discussion increasing in intensity around the corner, turning you are surprised to find one of the priests from your expedition engaged in a wild theological debate with a local noble. This could endanger the whole venture. So he's just gonna get more pissed at me. Eh. Why not? <laughs> I don't think we became zealous. We did not. Alright, so after long hours of negotiating and discussing possible terms of trade, you and the Sultan uh, seem to have arrived at a mutual understanding. This will be a profitable agreement. Good. Everybody loves some good profit right there. With the new trade route set up, you return with the first batch of goods and sell them off at a nice profit. The influx of new wares will also benefit the economy for a long period of time. So we gain 100 gold, we gain 150 prestige, and basically it looks like we get some pretty good 
bonuses. That's good news. Alright, so your steward has brought in the riches to your realm through his competent handling of the trading expedition, and he probably expects to be rewarded with a share of the wealth. So yeah, he can have that. I'll give him that money. I don't mind. I'm a pretty generous guy. Our king creep keeps creating duchies. I wish he would give me a duchy. Oh, kingy, I need a duchy. All right, you've been spending countless hours sketching up plans for the different building projects when you suddenly realize how you could display your extraordinary architectural skills. You will build a grand tower that will dwarf everything else in the landscape. Yeah, let's, why not? Let's build a tower. Let's lose that money. All right, the tower construction will need a mason to work the stone for both beauty and strength. The question is, who should you hire for this? Sure thing. Let's get that craftsman in here. Let's spend that money. All over the realm, word has spread of your prestigious building project. While some might be skeptical, most of your vassals are openly impressed with the scale of the planned tower. Okay. Boo -boo 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 -boo. Let's check our income. Oh, 31. <clears throat> he complains about what hard and tiresome work it is to plan and how to carve out stones for the tower. He therefore asks you for more payments to finish the plans since he had already, <coughs> excuse me, already used the first payment. Strangely enough, according to the rumor, he seems to have had a lot of time to spare chasing after women in your court. All right. We hired Leonardo da Vinci to be the architect. That's great. So if we build a quarry, huh? Whoa, that lasts till 960. Sure, let's build the quarry. How could that ever go wrong? Ah, let's compensate them. Why not? Really don't want that revolt risk getting too high. Raiders. Oh no. Not raiders. Ugh. All right, well, it's gonna be a close one, boys. See how this goes over. I think we're gonna win this though. Oh yeah. We just got some help. We just got some help from someone. Someone likes us. Oh, so our son is of legal age and we can now get him hitched. Let's try to do this. Let's try to do this. So here he is. Wow, that is a beefy, beefy, beefy Marshall score. Interestingly enough, I think we're going to have to present a debutante. Uh, no, definitely not my type. All right. Okay, so we need to get him married, and we need to find someone acceptable for him. Let's see if I can do this correctly. I think we're going to have to present a debutante.
Excellent. Let's see. Is she? She is terrible. She is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Alright, well, let's kick her out. That was a waste of money. Alright, well, let's see. Who has a daughter? Do you have the daughter? She's eight. Not really crazy about that. What about you? You got a daughter. She's two. Ooh, what about Loon? She's 11. She is Dutch. Ooh, but she's a glutton. What about you, kind sir? You ain't got nothing. Although, you've had nothing but girls. It's tempting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. Wait a minute. That's so weird. These secession laws are just driving me bananas. Alright, let's go back to our culture tab. You could be a good, no, but guess what? Your children are terrible. And you don't have any children. Ugh. Alright, well we need to marry someone good. Someone who could potentially help us. Who is that going to be? You ain't got any kids either. Dang. Alright, well... I guess... Let's check out England. Age 11. Hmm. Let's actually check out our Lord. 18, 16, 16, already married. Who am I kidding? You're probably already, you're all probably married. No. Yep, you're definitely married. All right, so there's that. Uh, what to do, what to do. I guess we could check here. Do you really not have any children? Quite fascinating. Huh. Well, methinks for... Yeah, you ain't got no kids. Eleven it may be. Let's do it. Gotta wait a few years, my son, but there's your bride. She may turn out to be an okay spouse. Sorry for marrying you to a gluttonous woman, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. For country, right? And in the meantime, uh, yeah, you get busy for the love of everything that is holy. Back in peace. Did anything change hands? Not that I can see. Wait a minute. 
Is Rome literally getting raided? That's that's hilarious. Wow. Vikings are causing some problems. Wait a minute. So you now hold that duchy. Okay, you're problematic. Oh, you're problematic. Oh, what do you know? And we finally have our first fabricated claim. Good job, my bishop. Good job. Yeah, I'll take the prestige hit. Good job, my man. All right, so let's take a look at this. What do we have a claim on? So we now have a claim. We have a strong claim on this county. And this is in... Ugh. So let's actually go here. So to claim this... We need piety. Quite fascinating. Ooh, we need some piety. Well, looks like we're definitely going with, uh, Theology. There we go. Let's take a look at our marshal. He's an eleven. He's the mayor. Yikes. And our son wants to be our new marshal. She's a good marshal, so. Interesting. So, the great tower that you began planning so long ago has finally been finished. Wow, we finished the tower. A tower this tall can be seen from a long way away, and people are equally amazed and frightened by the power you have displayed by accompanying such a grand feat of construction during the years of work. Yada, yada, yada. So we gain 100 prestige. Ooh, what's the difference? We'll just take that. We'll, we'll take that prestige. So we can go ahead and attack him. Although I would rather... If we were to do this and go... We want to... Forget how you do this. Oh, we have to go after the leaves. That's right. Oh my gosh. Well, that is problematic, is it not? rather problematic. Huh. Well, it looks like I fabricated a claim on something that I really don't need. Great. But we're going to see it to the end of this year, and I think I'm going to make a cut. As always, if 
you watched live thank you for tuning in and if you're catching this on YouTube if this turns out to be a viable series which I'll know in the coming nights it'll hit YouTube uh, if you like the video uh, hit it with a like and if you want to see more updates subscribe to the channel y'all have a good one and I'll catch you next time